Greetings everyone, and great here for another Comfy Rose 1 replay spawn top side as the US player. We have Monier, I think, spawn bottom left side as the US player. We have Del Fonka, I think, or Del Fonka, I have no idea. Spawn on the right side as the Vermont player, we have Schnitzel, 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 Why do I... The more I look at the name, the more I it gets up on my uh, my mind. And spawn as his teammate as the other Vermont player, where he ma, which probably is more correct way to pronounce it. This map uh, makes you feel the battle when you watch. I'm not so sure what he means by that exactly. We've got the engineers push away down south. Both of the US players have gone for barracks. Both of the Vermont players have gone for their Vermont quarters. Not a big surprise. Engineers not eyeing to rush any sort of point, just capturing up all the points. Same with the Vermont players. So no aggression or focus on any sort of point. They're trying to capture up everything. And now do got a Jeep deployed on the field. Over here, do got a MG42 and over here. I think a little bit longer, maybe a Volkswagen Deer squad could be a Schumwagen. Of course, maybe it took a little bit longer because he had a longer movement to get down right there by his pioneers. Engineers push away forward, trying to capture sectors. Looks like this Jeep does find the pioneer. Does force back the pioneer, does not capture the, the strategic point. Granted, it doesn't provide any resources, so that's not a huge issue. Now we're going to have a rifle squad to play on the field. Starting to fire some shots in against the Pioneer, which is outside the cap radius. Can't really capture across that wreckage. And Shrimpwagen does find a burst there onto this engineer squad. Looks like a second Jeep has put on the field, this time by the other US player. MG42 does get flanked, and you can see the giant circle there, so it's tracking in the setup animation. So you can't run away or task off of it. This, knowing this, Pioneer should stop the captain that munitions spot and start engaging the Jeep. Because this uh, MG42 is in a severe risk in the state. Rifle squad advances for the close range, does get one of the defense crew models there. He may lose the MG42 entirely. Does get some suppression there, very, very good. Rifle squad will see mass amounts of fire. He may need to let that uh, get decrewed in order to prevent it from being uh, destroyed. He does get a bit of health remaining, so can withdraw safely, relatively. And now do you got the Shimbok and the Jeep now engaging each other? Do you have the Shimbok and the Jeep engaging each other? And now the rifle squad advance on four, trying to get some damage on four, maybe trying to help secure this munitions point. Engineers do find the strategic point, but not the capture the point. And they are going to try to engage the Shimbok in glorious close range combat. Shimbok says no. Enemy do you now have the engineers, the pioneers engage each other? I'm old enemies. They have time old as long as their engagement is. They tend to be, can be pretty long. Chimbox received private damage. It does receive engine crit from the Jeep. Kind of back on off from the region now. Up north, we've got the Volkswagen deer engaging the Reckman at close range. The Reckman squad does broken. fall back. We have territory out and then Chimbox is now advancing on forward. Multiple points not being captured on up. And now the MG42 is receiving a bit of damage from the Jeep. Cut off from Does receive a decent volley right there. Over here, got the two Volkswagen Deers advancing forward. MG42 setting it up in a relatively good defense position. So I think both of the Wehrmacht players have gone for the MG42 now. I don't. Yep, Victory there's the other one. Siege. The Germans are moving Rifleman in. Squad, this US player we have selected right now has two riflemen, two engineers, one Jeep. Asking his teammate if he's going Forward for a medic. Broken. Or. Asking, if, is he going for the medic or he will uh, he go for a medic? I think he's going for the medic station, not necessarily for the triage center. Could be for me to reference the triage center, but either way, getting out a medic station or two would be quite handy to help get some extra rifleman squads out. Where we headed? He's now facing four. Pioneer severely wounded. Does be careful the fuel point. May get chased down and wiped out. Deep is not eyeing pursuit, getting slowed down by the terrain. And now do have the rifle squad receiving a bit of fire from the Volkswagen Deers. Deep is in this region, healthy. Flame Regineers, very healthy. And ready to pour some fuel on the fire. That they're going to create. 
And the uh, MP42 does fall back now. This Jeep and Shimbogen are engaging close range. Rocket Squad, multiple Rocket Squads here. This Bearmock player is just getting overran. Volkswagen is advancing on four. Rocket Squad is a little bit wounded. Volkswagen has plenty of health. And does fire passive house on that Jeep there. Damage is crit there on the Shimbogen. He's focused on that Jeep. Jeep does not get destroyed there, nor does he receive the engine crit. Engine 4 set up in the flank. He's great damage there. He's just trying to repair up the Jeep now. And the Jeep will man escape on out of there. Rockman Squad does get pinned and forced on back. Trimbogen still has a bit of help to stay alive and does force back the Rifleman Squad as well. And this Rifleman Squad is eyeing for that fuel point. Now we've got early bar Rifleman put up by Green. Hopefully Green goes for Medic Station. Since he has bar Rifleman, that will help him pull out more bar Rifleman. You can see a bit of fire there. Trimbogen could pursue it, but it has less health at the moment. Folks, Grenadiers and Rifle Squad now before to engage. This MP42 is trying to set on up. Maybe we'll get a good burst onto that Rifle Squad. Uh, nope, he does flank it in time. The defense crews are reasonable, so getting some damage themselves. Folks, Grenadiers does drop a couple models there, and the Rifle Squad does fall back. Shimbog and Jeep now base at four. Both of us have really wounded. Shimbog and just see the damage to crit there. And the MP42 likely will pick up that Jeep. Keep advancing forward, maybe trying to pursue this Shimbogen. Of here, folks, Grand Deers have captured this munitions point. <clears throat> and Flame Engineers advance forward and does force back that MG42. Hasn't stopped with Doctrine just yet. Ah, Polly's asking what Doctrine he would like to go for or think about going for. Enemy unit down. But there goes that Shimbogen kit, set up the way. So we've got now a 251 half track here along with the Shimbogen. Flamer Engineers face force, supply yard deployed up by the US player we have currently selected, and the engineers do fall back. I heard a landmine detonation over here, somewhere. Shimbogen advance on four, trying to get a burst onto these riflemen. Asking for tier three. So, right now we got the rifle squad. Doesn't get suppressed there by the half track just yet. Both engineers have now have a Adventure C1. Engine 4 2 does force back the engineers. They did cut some wire. And that was an engine for the Shimbogen in a position that looks like an MG42 position, like that right there. Hex Files does connect, does connect, and does destroy it. We do have now the engineers pushed away for our north. Shimbogen, oh, there was a landmine there, wasn't there? Shimbogen does find a landmine. Rifle squads could some good damage there, but there's an MG42 here to cover his retreat. When the rifle squads do get suppressed and pinned. Sticky bomb research almost complete. He's trying to crawl forward for throwing out a sticky bomb. He's trying to go forward a little bit more. Now they're both not so well pinned. Engineer Flame Engineer is just getting a good flank on the MG42. He may not realize, and there goes the MG team. Both engineers are trying to recapture it, which will allow him to get off a sticky bomb. Goes off a second sticky bomb, though, that's likely going to be dead half track. And half track does go down. Had two engineers loaded on up. He could have backed one out to get some repairs in combat. Rifle squads, if they're move around like that, they can't fire when they're uh, crawling around prone like that. Rifle squad receiving quite a bit of damage there from these Volkswagen deers. Also, when the pioneers could just dismount, get in close range of the rifle squad, and start firing away quite happily. MP40 from the port, we got Veteran C1 on the support weapon squads, and the rifle squad will get suppressed. Folks, Grandi is advancing on forward. We got a landmine there, very, very nice. And cutting down some wire, he, they may spot that glitched animation there of the landmine. Trimbock does spot the engineers. There is, of course, a snipe in the region, which can be the quickly spotted and destroyed by the Shimbogen. Greyhound now put on the field. Rifle squad advance forward, trying to get us shots there. This is force finding ground onto the hedge line, trying to destroy it. 
And there's a, now a Veramox sniper on the field. That was kill number three. That you a sniper. Zero kills. Very, very good. They know about the sniper, the Veramox sniper on the field. So, and like I like to say, the first sniper kill with your sniper should be your opponent's sniper. And that's fully withdrawal there, spotting him. I guess he's hitting one field with that uh, Shrimvog. Could have got a kill there, but it would have been risky. There are now two Veramox snipers on the field. They may not realize it's a second Veramox sniper, but it is. We hold the initiative. This ring will be taken Berlin by Christmas. By Munich, it's advancing forward, trying to get some damage. Greyhound has broken the Tentacal. Looks like some sort of enemy unit went down. Probably just a pioneer somewhere. This landmine was detonated. Oh, the Shimwagen went down to that landmine. Here's some fire. Looks like the flame engineer will go down to these Volks Grenadiers. Reference squads, I have this fuel point. Great fuel control by the Allies. And then maintaining good contesting of this northern territory. Results in good uh, denial of resources as well as gaining some of their own. But this force now suppressed there. Greyhound fans in order. We do have a pack 38 shot there. Panther truck in the region. And the final firing. That is a dead Greyhound in the next pack 38 shot. Uh, that should be a dead Greyhound, right? Forces are taking casualties. Looks like one of the rifleman squads or one of the squads went down. Maybe in a rifleman squad. He has three engineers. Gassed up and good to go. Patrick trying to hunt this squad down. Engineers in the region. Grenadier squad. The rifleman squads are really unloading that grenadier. Greyhound does back in the far back corner. You can get quite deep there. And if he does manage to see the Greyhound for the time being, the Greyhound could drive out of there with maybe a landmine or two. I don't see any, however. Oh, you can't go close to that Volkswagen Deer. That Volkswagen Deer provides too much threat for a Panzerfaust. Flame Engineer just gets a bit damage there and does lose the Greyhound there to the uh, Pack 38. He could actually save that. He should have immediately withdraw from the region, just run away. It was far too wounded to stay around. Don't attack versus uh, 2v1. It's not doing half bad, but he's sustaining a lot of damage, that's for sure. But he's doing a lot of damage. Another reference squad in Boku. Do we see any medic station? Already the here. After one of our munitions points. Let's go ahead and take a look at each player's doctrine. This person has not set the doctrine just yet, has all four command points. This player has three command points, almost to four, so likely has not selected the doctrine just yet. This uh Vermont player does have two command points, almost three, so I believe he has selected the doctrine. Snapper does need to uh, get a good shot there. We do now have the. Wait a second. Those are two snipe. Uh, the U.S. sniper just killed off another sniper point blank range. Oh come on! Why is it there always a? Sniper dying to a landmine. <sighs> I'm serious. I always see the snipers die to landmines. It happened again. Angel 42 does fall back there. Has two levels of efficiency. Rifle and squad space four. I also did not realize those two snipers were attacking each other because I'm so used to where most no, games having purple and red are allies. In this case, they were enemies. We do now have the uh, Pack 38 getting overran. It's the Sharkman squad engaged in close range against Volkswagen Deer, but that's the Volkswagen Deer's will went out. He, that Pack 38 does finally get wiped out there, or decrewed. Both Sharkman squads are falling in back. Do not got the terror uh, doctrine selected. We got propaganda war. Let's see, force back. Eh, no, those guys were being forced back normally. Not sure what actually, well, actually got force retreated there. And this Vermin player has selected a uh, defensive doctrine. So has, right now has. Wait, well, you no. Know, it's also terror. Oh, we got double terror. Interesting. This US player has still not selected a doctrine. And this player has selected armor, so this US player is the only unknown doctrine. Oh, 
Perfect Squad, Zook, and Engineer does get forced and back. We do now have a 2 3 4 down for the view. An excellent grenade on kill. On to throw another that corpse. Both trying to get fan support. There is a US landmine in that region. This post right here is getting some good damage. And now we've got support is now available. So we've got defense and infantry. Pretty standard in 2v2s. Double tear is a little bit uncommon, however. Check your ammo. Clear your side. Enemy Get unit your down. Uh heard a landmine detonation. I heard enemy unit down, but do have now have a short take the bottom field by the armor player. That was a little miss there. Received a bounce for that Panzer Shrek. And there's that land. Oh, it's a destroyed engine crit there. That is very important. A destroyed engine crit means he could quickly take that out. I don't think it's realized it's a destroyed engine crit just yet. Maybe worry about any sort of escort. Sherman taking a base forward. Does fire shot there. Does crush one of the Volkswagen Deer's model. Hendrick does connect and pens. Good hit there onto the two, three, four. Off FR and power street now raining on it over here. Enemy unit. Yeah. Two three four has been, uh, been taken on out. We got a Stug as was a pack thirty eight now engaging that Sherm tank. Sherm tank has seen a bit of a beating there. And also the off map power shoot does take out the pack thirty eight. I wonder if it took out the gun entirely. Looks like it took out the gun entirely. Stug in hot pursuit. Oh, that is poor movement there by the Sherman tank. He does use Allied War Machine there. Starting to reverse back. M18 gun gets a good shot there. Stug having trouble with the angle. Rolls a miss there. Rolls a bounce there. Uh, that's getting pretty close to the uh, end of duration. He now has managed to recover that Sherman tank. He did use a full invest uh, Allied War Machine on seal Sherman tank. I suppose he can't want to lose a Sherman tank. This player, he starts doing his missions for another allied war machine. Hellcat on the build queue. He, I think he has enough fuel for another Hellcat. And a Volt Screen is now catching the southern points. Rifle squads being suppressed by the MG42. Two Vermont snipers getting some good shots there. US snipers on the field, two kills. Oh, that's a firestorm. Ooh. Engineers squad does get fully wiped out. Both rifle squads manage to escape on out of there. Oh, now oh, there, no, there is one doctrine selected. Composition B is in. So troops can now make stick. We do now have a uh, M2 howitzer now put in the field. Buying a barrage up here. Ready. Engineers do get suppressed there. He's asking for off map uh, how to shoot somewhere. Hellcat and Sherman take now push him way forward. He does have enough conditions for Allied War Machine. Axel does connect onto the uh, Hellcat. Thank you for the follow, Wyatt Theorist. If I probably butcher your name, my apologies. And does not use Allied War Machine there to recover the Hellcat. Stroke gets to receive a shot there. Sherman Tank lining up shot. Good hits there, but a lot of bounces on Stroke. Stroke there does get a pen. Right from the squads could well go forward with a sticky bomb. I think both of them have sticky bombs research now. Right from the squads now can suppress. Enemy 42 getting some good damage. Grenadiers are currently at Veteran C2. And US Sniper does get his fourth kill right there, getting Veteran C1. Go falling on back. Doing good, you sir. Right from the squad does get suppressed there. Do got the MG42 firing away. There's. Yeah, I thought that was another one up here. Yeah, there it is. So both MG42s are relatively in this region. And one AT gun here to support the Sherman tank. Sherman tank could advance forward, fire some shots Losing on the MG42. Of course, he doesn't have to worry about the Pac-38. Sniper does spot right there. Sherman tank engaging at long range. Enemy unit yeah, not down. a bad day. A lot of walking around. Going up and down stairs. And looks like a house shot does connect onto a sniper. We got a pan on the flank, which could get some great hits there. Wait, that Grenadier's upgrade of the MG42. 
do not have this MG42 firing against the Pioneer the, or Engineer. It does swipe out that MG42. Grenadier does fall back. Arkham Squad's defense board. MP40 Volk Squad has pulled on the field, but getting two beat ones is never a good idea. Grenadier's now pushing way forward. Now we do got an off map power shoot rating on somewhere. Our engineer does get pulled some back. There's off map power shoot. And a little bit close to his buddy's engineers. I think that Pioneer was trying to charge forward only to call in a firestorm out of the M2, but it looks like it's largely unsuccessful. That remaining sniper could camouflage forward in order to spot that uh, M2 in order to bring in a firestorm or later on V1. Both right from the squads are now falling back. There is MG42 bunker in this region. But the engineers could get some good damage there. There is a landmine there. Down. And Shrivaka was unable to spot the M2, which I have a good feeling that's where he's trying to go for. Level 2 production for the US players selected. The infantry player has only one M2 at the moment. The YP Barrage running on in, gained some damage on his own tank right there. And now we've got the 50 cal upgrade. Rifle Squad now seeing a bit of fire from the MG42, as well as from the Grenadier, who is armed with the MG42. That rock squad does fall back as well, and I see some debris flying right there. Not sure what that was. Engineers do get suppressed there by the M42. And now he does have access to the Rangers, which probably will not be called on him. He has plenty of infantry squads on the field. Got two Stokes on the field as well. Landmine detonation there. Uh, well, I don't really have much social. I have Twitch and YouTube and Rumble. You can go ahead. I do have my Gmail attached to my YouTube channel if you want to take a look at the videos I have over there. But you can find a link to that through Twitch. Maybe uh, just send me a DM over Twitch and I can get back you with that. M342 does suppress the Grenadiers. Rifle Squads and Pace Forward does suppress the Rifle Squads. Stug's now firing away. Got Paris sticky bombs onto the Stug. Receive a bit of damage and crit there. M42 now firing. Uh, well, it has been kept for the rifle, I just realized. Fly people are already running on him. Gains a good damage there onto the infantry. Grenadier squad does get on Alda. M42 is not the crew. But it is not fully retreated back in MG40 MP40 squad trying to gauge the rifle at close range. More house or rounds running on in. Stoke being repaired on the front line, likely from a repair bunker. Flame engineers is receiving quite a bit of damage. It does fall back. You know, and more M2 barrage right there. Ammunition sniper double charges. Ooh, available. and the US sniper goes down to the Schimbogen, and which it may go down again to that landmine, but does not does avoid that landmine. Jimbogan now charging forward, trying to spot the M2. Does receive base 30 cal damage. Rifle squads are right there. He needs to make sure it stops that Shimbogan. See the mass fire there. Being slowed down by the crater there. And that's nowhere near to the M2. I hear Nebwarfer on the field. Nebwarfer eyeing a barrage in this general area, I think. Does get uh, suppression there. It's a decent hit there. And overall, does get gets, does some decent damage to those engineers. Rifle squads advance forward. We do have the Grenadiers. We've seen a bit of fire. We do have this Rifle squad. Maybe I'm forward for another satchel charge or sticky bomb, I should say. Now we do got extra C3 on these tanks. We do got another Clyde Barrage ring on it. This should see quite a bit of damage there. The Warfare seem to hit as well. And there goes that Stug. This one does receive the damage to crit there. That rifle squad may have been fully wiped on out. And down south, we do have now the Hellcat and Sherman take advance forward. Let's get a principal shot on both these vehicles, not getting any severe damage on either. Uh, I'll just go and I'll follow up with you on Twitch a little bit later after the stream.
do get this uh, sniper advanced board with the MP40 squad. We've got two snipers in this region. One has 25 kills, the other one has four. So we do got a relatively fresh sniper. Grenadier squad advanced on forward. We've got the MP42 setting on up. May receive a grenade there from the Grenadier. He may get the snipe shot down the guy that was trying to throw the grenade and drops himself an MG42. Not every day you get to pick one of those up. We've got Firestorm now advanced forward. Does suppress and pin the rifleman. Our are Sniper's pushed way forward. Looks like got something went down right there. It looks like a flamer engineer went, got it fully wiped out. This <clears throat> rifleman squad is now fully pinned. They will lose by that nub warper. This rifleman squad gains a good damage on it. This rifleman squad here needs to fall back. Oh, here, stroke advanced forward. Does see some M180 gunfire. Grenadiers now advanced forward. Trying to get some shots there onto the rifleman squad. Stroke still has plenty of health remaining. Rifle squad does manage to fall back in time. This rifle squad does get some good damage there on the Grenadier. And Sniper is pushing way forward. We got another Neville for Barrage. No, that's a Firestorm calling. Oh! Did that artillery shot just took up both of the snipers? Did you just say minus two snipers before that even land? Bit bold for that prediction. Let's go ahead and cover from the top. See every player's resources. This US player has plenty of manpower, plenty of munitions, enough for our off a power shoot, as well as plenty of fuel. The other US player has an excellent reserve of munitions, able to call an allied war machine multiple times. Not a huge reserve of manpower, but a good reserve of fuel. Probably plenty for the rest of the game at the current rate. Black Rock Burning Man does take up that bridge. That warfare does see a bit of hits. So it says all of the members alive. And this uh, Vermont player does have a good reserve of munitions, but that's about it. And the last Vermont player does have the V1 available with enough munitions for it. Grenadier squad could advance forward in order to call, try to call on a V1 over here. Of course, the Sherman tank would pose a massive threat to it. This Vermont player also has plenty of fuel for armored assets, as a small reserve of fuel. Practice was advancing on four, but they are going to get forced on back. Bit too much uh, fire there. Practice squad could actually be wiped on now. Stokes advancing on four. We've got some repairs on the Stoke. It looks like Beat Circle. Hellcat does get the rear armor. There's three Stokes in this region. And looks like he is starting to use global repairs with. With this armor, very, very good. Gotta keep these guys quite healthy. The Hellcat has to fight with damage. Sherm Tank does not get a kill there. Flyby Barrage running on in. Hellcat does go down, but so does the Stug. Sherm Tank's not currently at full health, but there's two Stugs in front of them. So they could advance forward and hit that rear armor there. M180 guns way back over here. About to get overrun by the Wehrmacht infantry. Sniper is not being spotted just yet. Allies are now down less forward figures, but the Axis players have less than 300. We've got Allied War Machine activated. He does blow up his own vehicle there with a the fly paper uh, barrage. And, but overall, this barrage was not very good. This hill is very steep. So you best not fire against these fly paper barrages or really are any artillery barrages when your opponent's on this side of the hill because you will not. All too well, honestly. Ooh, sniper does get uh, shot up by the MP40 volts. This Sherman Clive is fast advancing a little bit too far forward. And it's receiving some M1 AT gun shots. Granted, there are two bounces. I think that was another bounce there. Enemy unit down. Here are your AT. <laughs> now you have got a King Tiger to pull on the field. Repair is being pulled out the front line for these Stugs. Little cat's screwing around, trying to get some shots on in. Green King could advance on forward. Little cat does see multiple pens there, does receive a damage to the crit. Could use field repairs help try to save it. Five of guards running on in, it does use the Little cat now. Got some good quality rockets there on the Stug. Sherman Tank's receiving some rear armor hits there, but I don't think the key pack can balance on the frontal armor. Fires around the carcass. 
Rifle squad players not have gotten a set of charge off yet. This rifle squad in phase of four, we've got one set of charge there on the King Tiger. Other rifle squad trying to get a hit as well. It does get damage to crit. Right back to the one onto the Shlug. The Shlug is a little bit more easier to take out than the King Tiger. But the M180 gun's doing a good job of taking out that Shlug. Clive rocket barrage raining on in. Trying to stop up this armor, even splashing out this far one. Killing off the engine repair engineers would be very handy. One of the repair engineers do in fact go down. King Tiger still has damage and crit there, but not receiving any more threats. Down south, we've got the Shinbog in base 40. He's trying to eye for that uh, D1. Let's see now. We have, well, looks like one M2 artillery piece. And here comes the B1. That's going to be a direct hit right onto this M2. Or it could be a little bit over here as well. Also, if you had enough munitions for a firestorm, you could have followed up and destroyed some of this, uh, more, of this more of this infrastructure. And... Kaboom. Actually, that was a little bit short there. Either way, it does get some good damage there. It does miss the barracks, however. Also, may it blew up a landmine there? Based on that carcass there, that could have been just an MG emplacement. Two of Vermont snipers here. One four kills. The other one is at... Oh, they're both at four kills. Oh yeah, he lost both his snipers early on. Or not early on. Earlier. We got a pair of dropped weapons here, a bar and the elusive MG42. Five people are not running on in. Maybe get some good damage there. Get some good hits on the King Tiger. Keep the engine damage. Rifle Squad does drop a bar there. And one AT gun does get the crude uh, capture MG42 to make it decrease as well. And does take up both of those grenadiers, but does lose a sniper there. And now we've got Propaganda War there, forcing back the Rifle Squad. Let's go and take a YP Barrage raining on in. Does get a small hit there on the King Tiger, takes out some repair engineers, it actually is very important. And let's take a look at each player's resources. This uh, Baron player has no munitions reserve, small reserve of manpower. Rest of enough fuel for the rest of the game. For the axe, uh, other axe player, we've got a good reserve of manpower, good, very good reserve of munitions, and a good reserve of fuel. And for this player right now, at the moment, we do have a good amount of munitions, small amount of fuel, and manpower. Hello Cat and Sherman King getting some good hits on the King Tiger. Maybe a good idea to oh, lose the uh, Hello Cat there a little bit late in the Allied War Machine, but the Sherman King will go down no problem. Frank with the King Tiger in mount. So that's actually a good idea to go with the other vehicles. Not really moving around these uh, units. This is the Sherman Tank there. Allied War Machine still active. And does go ahead and get some great damage there on these forces. And does lose another Hellcat there that should get its Allied War Machine fully satisfied. King Tiger still received a bit of damage there. Rifle Squad against forward. Maybe trying to hit this, get this AT gun there. Those loses Hellcat now. Rifle Squad have signed for the munitions point. Do have now a Hellcat and Greyhound facing forward. And this is from the uh, off of combat group because that's a Hellcat with a 50 cal. Nobody ever uh, upgrades that. King Tiger received quite a bit of damage there. Off of combat group. Does find that landmine there, suppresses the rifleman, but that VP is capturing up. He uh, destroys some of the fuel caches now. Aristoc is facing a forward with a Shimwagen in tow. One of our forward placements, trying to Up here, our old stranger is facing a forward. All both upgraded with the MP40s. Hitting the munitions caches is going to be very important because everybody needs munitions. Rifleman squad is a base forward. Enemy three rifleman squad here. Yeah. MP oh, that's a 30 cal, not an MG42. It does force back these MP40 folk squads. That must have been also for the Alphabet Combat Group. Last year's player, of course, has the Alphabet Combat Group there. It did a good mix of units. Even got a modern uh, team as well. That could be useful. But I suppose the opponents haven't really a whole lot, of, whole lot of static weapons. That two Hellcat deployment is on the field. Best to make sure that doesn't go down. He's about to lose it, however. 
almost lost it right there. It does get out of control over there. That could get the Hellcat of the uh, Vet 3. It does. That is become a very, very lethal item. When M10s or so Hellcats get up the Vet 3, they are penetrating machines. Let's get destroyed into print there, trying to get repaired by the M uh, repair bonus. But now the Ultimate Combat Group Hellcat does get a kill there. Now I'm in the Warfare, Pentrick Lion the rear armor does take out that, uh, was a Shimbogan. Joke Thanks and forward. Hellcat received a hit there. Hellcat needs to fall on back. Gain some 50 cal damage there. The 50 cal provides a pathetic amount of damage, honestly. And there is there goes the engine, there goes the Hellcat. The oh yeah. Sorry, I just saw your YouTube comment. Yep, this was uh, your replacement, it wasn't it? Do you know how the Hellcat uh YP now advanced it forward, getting a barrage off in this region? Gets a good damage there on to the Neville Warper. Does get Taking at least the crew. I always think that's a unique line for that. It does even get the gun fully destroyed. Eyes on me. That is a very sneaky Hellcat there. Oh, looks like the big cat did in fact go down right there. Probably to a small cat that off my combat group one I think took out that big cat. Got a lot of carcasses here, so if the Pioneer is able to salvage all of those, that will give them massive munitions of uh, storage. Folks now advancing forward, trying to get some shots there on the Hellcat. I suppose to fire on this Hellcat here. Got some global repairs, looks like activated. Now got an M2 barrage in this region. Oh, that's off map combat group. That's the US player has dropped another unit there. I'm not sure what it was, however. Up north, we do have the Volksgrenadiers trying to recapture the northern sectors. And we do got the 60mm mortar trying to hit the Grenadier. <laughs> Good game, then. Or is this a that's what she said joke? Eh, either way. We do now have the three Hellcats in this region. The Vet 3-1 is a massive threat. Sherman tank can be also pushed forward to tank. To uh, gotta points. be careful of that Calliope Barrage. You've already hit your own Hellcats. Though, as I mentioned beforehand, this Enemy still will help buy some down. good cover for them. The Germans are seizing territory. I think the Pentrick did connect onto the... No, it did connect onto the Sherman tank, not onto the Hellcat. Hellcat now designed to fire away against the Grenadiers. Oh, wait, an artillery officer. Will we see the artillery officer doing artillery officer stuff? Got these Grenadiers and Volks Grenadiers advanced forward. Sniper here, nine kills, six kills. Those are, of course, relatively two fresh snipers. Grenadiers and Volks Grenadiers advancing on forward. They're hitting one of our forward places. MP40 Volks advancing on forward. We now got the Grenadiers to see a bit of fire as well. Right from the squad, Captain the BP. Getting some good damage there. Rifle squad will get overran by the NP40 Volk squad. Those drop the bar. Are and he may get fully wiped out right there. VPs are favored by the US players by a small margin. And I guess the soft back combat crews really give them some uh, Garnot Warp. Oh, not Garnot Warpers. Uh, 60 millimeter mortars. You got a second Hellcat here. And a second Greyhound. So overall, he's doing. Getting a lot of good armored assets from the off-map combat group. Getting a little bit lucky. Late game Greyhounds are not half bad. The Great would help secure the flanks and prevent enemy infantry sort of just ninja capping a point. So these Hellcats are starting to go down. Sherman Tank does get a main gun short crit there. Pack 3 does get the crew. Hellcat trying to hit some shots on the MP40 bolts. Hellcat does go down. There's a lot of tank carcasses there. Pack 38 trying to push play forward. Two Hellcats here. Still has a Vet 3 1, which is very good. MP40 folks do fall back now. And the Captain 4 2 does fire away as well. Oh, B1 strike. I, have, I can't tell where it's going at. Is it coming down right here? There. What was there? 
That looks like a mortar piece. That may have been another mortar. I think he took out both the mortars. Maybe a little bit overkill to take out mortars like that. Mortars don't exactly pose a threat to a lot of assets unless you have static weapons. Main gun destroyed, crit there, or engine destroyed, crit. Five barrage raining on in. Relatively close range barrage gets a tight uh, scatter right there. Gets some good hits there. Takes out one of the studs. We're losing a munitions point. Got the Pershing out point of view. Allied war machine has been activated. Trying to save his Hellcat. Or, not necessarily save, but let them die to get it replaced. Now we've got the other Tiger Tank now deployed on the field. Firing some rounds of that 30 cal. Yep, same force there. This player does have an engineer. Needs to take time to repair up some of this force of his own armor. MP40 Volk Squad, we've seen a bit of fire there. They do have full battery C3. Of course, the long range creation. I think the rifle squads will win out with their sub buddies advancing on forward. Stroke firing some shots there. Rifle squad does get suppressed. Might go for a sticky bomb there on the King Tiger. Up here, looks like snipers firing away. Seven kills. He does have Dexter C3 on his snipers as well. Rifle squad does the capture central VP, and that is the single capture favorite of the US player. Five people are just raining on in, trying to supplement this region. Let's get the no, M42 still alive. M42 does get the crude. Up north, we got these force advance forward. Two snipers firing away against these rifle squad. This rifle squad could be getting wiped out by the snipers. Got a full retreat there. Still trying to have a shot there, but rolls some misses there. Both the rifle squads are down to one model. Snipers will roll a miss there. Central Southern VP has been captured by the Volks Grenadiers. The US player is now going to be hunting down below 300 tickets. We have 300 points left. Crooks are appearing on up. Got the Strikers point of base four. We're seeing a bit of fire. And this got a really good hit there on the rifle squad of that King Tiger. Let's go ahead and take a look at everybody's resources. One less powerful men, but we do have the infantry player does have a lack of manpower, does have good reserve of munitions, and enough to fuel the rest for 10 games. His teammate has a low reserve of munitions, so can't bring in allied war machine or food repairs anytime soon. Though it does have a good munitions to come of 40 per minute. Has a good reserve of manpower and fuel, but he's up pop caps so that he can start storing up those resources. King Tiger and Clyde be advancing on forward. This Fairmont player, B1 zone cooldown, halfway off cooldown, has nearly 150 munitions. You need 160, 164 Firestorm, and good reserve of manpower and fuel. And his teammate has a V1 available, has no vision for the V1, has plenty of fuel, but no manpower. Off my power stream trying to rain on in this region. Clyde people are raining on in as well. It's on the right. Snipers, they don't get splashed all too much at the moment. Does see some damage there, but both Clyde are raining in this region. Off my power stream does uh, decrew the Pack 38 and does take up the Pack 30 entirely. Rounds are just connecting. I'm not so sure what. It seems a little bit weird there. Tiger Tank looks like King Tiger does find a landmine there, getting inches there from it. Could receive some extra sticky bombs. Engineer squad. Oh, got a firestorm right there, and that's a very tight group of units there. So, wait, did both players just call in firestorm there? Good. Yep. Does both players call a firestorm there, which is a very, very overkill. Let's take a look at there. Very nice. Up north, we've got the rifle squad falling back. Plenty of infantry forces up here for the access player. We still have the artillery officer as well.
Looks like this year's player starting Sari to save up the, uh, his manpower for another off map combat group. He doesn't need to survive from a reinforce, however, before that point. Oh, had a great hunt against Ford. King Tiger trying to find a shot on nothing for the moment. And looks like the engineers may be seen better than the MP40 bolts. Five B Barrage from raining on in, trying to get some damage. Enemy unit down. What's our plan? Front shifting. Crowds are grabbing territory from us. Over here we've got the Grenadiers moving around, capturing some sectors. We're trying to eye for this more of this VP down here. Yeah, we got the VP captured up by the Axis players. Looks like the person does receive a bounce there. Same bit of fire, Grenadier and Volks Grenadier squad does go back. We got the rifle squad now pushing way forward. Greyhounds of 8 and 4. The cast engaged that actor 8, this is still here. All cast and Sherman's advance or Pershing's advance and 4. Greyhounds trying to focus down this pack 38. Pershing and Hellcast are pushing way forward. The vet 3 uh, Hellcast still alive. Let's get the rear armor of the Stug. Pick up your two, if you order stop move command to help fence the phase through effect. Multiple Pantrack hits there onto this Hellcat now. Does this one the Hellcat as well? Stroke does go down. He's with both more pairs. And the Greyhound does go down now. This Greyhound goes down now. The Infrared is out of vehicles. Doesn't have any support weapons either. No M2s. We're gonna stay on the lease. Greyhound, or not Greyhound, Hellcat, and needs to fall back, get some repairs. Our supply lines Pershing are being still threatened. plenty healthy, however. Do not have off map uh, Howard Troop raining on in somewhere, or maybe it already did rain on in. Enemy unit down. Pretty cow firing away, does not get expression there, does get fully wiped out. Captured him before two, is trying to get some damage in as well. Other VP has been captured by the US players, so we've got to capture in favor of the US players. This other VP is currently being captured. We do have a sticky bomb connecting on the Stug. This US player we have selected right now that has all these rifles next to that Stug does not have enough munitions there to throw out more sticky bombs. Making a short crit there, Propaganda War does force back those for riflemen. The VP is now being captured up by a Volk's Grenadiers. Another off map combat group has pulled out of the This can actually get another Hellcat, Greyhound, M M1AT gun, as well as another rifleman. That's actually a pretty good off map combat group. You get assets to engage the infantry and the armor. I'll say a good idea just to park the Greyhound down here to, to keep that area secure at this moment in time. Or to help it push up north to engage the northern VP. Greyhounds now pushing way down south, trying to engage this Volk's Grenadiers. Our front lines are collapsing. It does hit the munitions point there. And you actually have a drop pen truck there, so this may have been where off a power shoot rained on in. We're going to see a bit of fire there. Little cat charging forward. Those are also fire there, rolls a miss. Pershing rolls up bounce there. Multiple AT guns hit there, getting some great damage there on that Stug. Choke's now one shot away from death, or one pen from death. MP40 Volks and Rifleman Squads are running past each other. MP40 Volks now to assume the Rifleman Squads. Oh, wait a second. That Volks Windier got suppressed by the captured MP42. That was actually really good for the Rifleman. Five in Roger Hand does take out that uh, Stug. The AT gun of the Pack 30 almost was destroyed. At least one more loose hit and we're destroy it, but it's not. Rifle squads to charge on board. That's Captain Pack 38, and he may have lost one of the rifle squads right there. He has plenty of re replacements though. And this horse looks like will be forcing back. Right here is receiving a bit of fire, Rifleman Squad did not capture that point. I got this Rifleman Squad now, I'm getting the Grenadiers at close range. I'm 
Northeast points are being captured on up. And how's the triple capture in favor of the US players? US players only hold on to triple capture for a short amount of time and then they will win. Brown's trying to engage these Pentrick squads. Pentrick now focus on the Pershing. And I've got the what's it called ability. The inspired assault ability. There's him the Greyhound, stays alive, into his crit. And now I've got the Rocket Squad getting overran by the MP40 bombs. Double capture right now against the Axis players. We've got another 5 big rocks raining on in. Good damage on the armor, softening it up. North Rifle Squad does wipe out that artillery officer, getting him to too. Oh, it's, they could catch the same fight against that uh, Volkswagen here. They should have a lot of good firepower. B1 Rocket Strike raining on him somewhere, I think, over here. Volkers have been activated. Hellcat does go down. Oh. Try to go for Clive Piece. Most of the Clive Piece will uh, escape on out of there. Hellcat does go down as well. Both Hellcats are down. Pershing is at Fisher C1. Enemies of the Reich. This Pioneer has captured the Southern VP. Very nice. Uh, this Fire Mock Flyer's uh, V1 rocket is off cooldown. Just need a bit of munitions. One minute's worth of munitions. Over here, right from the squad has captured the northern points down south. Pioneer Singular has captured the southern points, though this point would not be in supply. Pershing has seen a bit of fire there. Hellcat firing some good long range damage there. We've got the two V, uh, not V ones, M ones in the region. Gives a good fire support for them. Act 38 does get destroyed there by the Hellcat. Intag is almost down. Engine is crit. YP Barrage ring on in. Trying to stop these uh, stugs. Make them strip. And there goes that shug. Hellcats and Pershing fans support. Hellcats do not have any vegetable. The Pershing is a vegetable one. Good hits there. Bounce there. Good pen there by the Pershing. One more pen away from death. Mango destroyed crit there. Does go down. Pershing. Did he get the kill there? And this is one the Hellcats to go down. Please allied war machine to get that one quickly recovered. King Tiger now being engaged with the Pershing and Hellcat. Small cat does manage to get around the rear armor of the big cat. And there goes the uh, uh, King Tiger and getting a Vet 3 Pershing. A Vet 3 Pershing is something you do not want to see. This, however, Kellow Cat will go down. The Pershing may just need to fall back and some repairs. We got these safety guns, advanced support, trying to get some fire support for his teammate. This Pack 30 is almost destroyed as well. Gunner killed there. And one eighty guns pushed away for. This Vermont player has some munitions there. Does not have the V1 ready. This one does have enough munitions for a V1, or soon to be enough for a Firestorm. Pretty far on the cooldown for V1. That's going to reserve a manpower and fuel as well. The armor player does have great reserve of manpower, small reserve of munitions, plenty of fuel, and it's also pretty much a pop cap. Grenier squad does kill over ram. An infantry player does have a good. Very, very good reserve of fuel and a small amount of uh, manpower, no munitions. Grenade with thrown, rolls on this there. Rock Squad does need to fall back. Five people are just raining on in. Losing ground out there. Those largely missing that region. No expansive forward. Some are actually quite wounded. I need these Calliope's. Calliope's are better safe to each. Pershing's not fully repaired just yet. But should be able to get some great damage on these horces. Just take out one of those uh, 
Sook's here. Another one does go down. The Gnom does connect with a third. And doesn't get a uh, amp engine crit there, but does get destroyed by all the gauntlet. With two anti guns to reach, and that's a lot of the firepower against the armor. Both units pushing way forward, got a firestorm in this reach as well. Mate, does get some damage there on those anti guns, just getting them to be crude. Fire from the squad against forward, all of them quite wounded, and they need to fall back and get some reinforcements. We have a threat to our victory point. Up north, we do have a few of these. DP's trying to be recaptured now. Some sniper shots there on the riflemen. And the explorers down the last 20 tickets. Rational squad and MG30 and uh MG uh not HMG trying to ban some forward, does pick up the Hellcat now. Clear Cal setting up, trying to express these forces, and this is largely unsuccessful, just force them back entirely. Five garage are raining on in, trying to get some damage there, but there's nothing really much here other than the anti gun. Receive a bit of fire there from the AT gun. Rocket Squad's advance forward. Does find one of the snipers there. Doesn't. Wipe up the sniper. Does get some good damage onto it. Right here's advance forward. Does force back the rifle squad. Now got the Clyde Barrage ring on in. Trying to deal with the sniper. Needs a couple of decent hits there to pick up the sniper. Looks like the sniper will escape on out of there. Pershing advance forward. Getting forced back by the AT gun. Shugs. Good hit there. Ventric onto the Pershing. Getting multiple good hits there. We're almost getting a roll to kill there. It does take up a death three Pershing. That is a massive loss. Patrick's gonna try and advance up forward. Do got the rifle squads in the region. That's a good piece of hit there. No extra Patrick's on the squad. There's no only one Patrick on that squad as well. Try to go deep through the AT gun, unsuccessful. And that Grandia Squad does fall back. This 18 has been screwed, severely wounded. The propaganda war does connect. Russian Squad is trying to advance forward. Maybe trying to have to bomb there on that still up there. After they could get the crew, it does get the crew there. Five Rush just ran on in, gets some good damage there onto the MG42. Running on in, trying to get some good damage there on this uh, Stug. Is your to see a bit of fire there for the too significant? Patrick's trying to hit these Hello Cats, getting some good hits there. The Hello Cats do manage to fall back in time. No snow rockets at the moment, or maybe not. Engineers need to fall back. We're getting a little bit too wooden from these Grenadiers. And now you got the Hellcat Banks of Four trying to engage these various forces. Now we need to upgrade on this Grenadier at the moment. Down south we do have the Rocket Squad engaging the Bolt Grenadiers. The Rocket Squad is as well getting some shots on in. Hellcat does take up the carcass right there. Do not have this uh still get base uh falling back. We got the Hellcats so really wanted to try and base forward, try to get the rear armor of the Stug. Let's get one good shot there. Rifle squad not going forward for a sticky bomb there. Pershing base forward. Motor points there on the rear armor of the Stug. And main gun destroyer does well does get destroyed on the Stug. Pershing may find the final shot there, but no the Hellcat got it. Of your rifle squad does get suppressed by the MG42. Grenade was thrown, getting one model. Uh, Greyhounds against forward. We got a grenade onto the rifle or Grenadiers. Gets some real damage there. Does drop a bar there into that rifle squad. Needs to fall back. Gets a good damage there on the MG42. Does get the crude. And now got a fresh Vermox sniper on the field. Stoke trying to be encircled by the Hellcat. This Hellcat has no health remaining. Rolls a bounce there. It does get destroyed. Pershing now firing full point click shot there. Rolls a bounce. Well, 
Jose rolled another miss there. And let's the Shook does go down in the Persian Vestacy 1. Rifle Squad and capturing this other part of the map. Grenadiers and Bolt Grenadiers trying to base more. Patrick does roll a miss there on that Greyhound. The Vermont Pies down to 13 tickets, so it can't be a full boost anymore. BPs. Patrick does connect on the Greyhound now. Does get some damage there now. Bolt Grenadiers and Bolt oh, Grenadiers recapture the engine 42. Rifle Squad making their way from north. This on the MG42 there does get suppressed by the MG42. Greyhound trying to back on out of the region. Does receive a miss there from that engine truck. And the rifle squad does get pinned. Or at least one of them. Patrick does connect on the Greyhound as well. Having trouble dealing with these MG42. Both the rifle squad are running pinned. Grenadiers could try to throw a frag grenade right there. That could perhaps wipe out that rifle squad. And does take out the MG42 now. He does get the Greyhound as well. Pershing and Sherman Tank. It. Not Sherman Tank, uh. Chill can get him close range. Both side roll a bounce there. Other strokes face forward and also two roll a bounce. Let's get a good hit there. As Pershing does not fire in another shot there, that I believe that's a whip shot. Maybe not. Pershing's on a back off on off the region does receive a good hit there by the pack 30 on the flank does use allied machine there does lose that one pushing now rifle squad advance forward one model remaining so it needs a full withdrawal grandier is not making soft retreat away rifle squad is getting picked off by the sniper does get fully wiped on out Okay, place some resources. We got another off of combat group there. It gets another Hellcat. Holy crap. It, wait, no. Okay, this one's already wounded. So this is one original Hellcat. I think every single off combat group he's been getting has a Hellcat with it, which actually is pretty good. His teammate, of course, has quite a little Pershing. Has plenty of reserves as well. Has one Hellcat, one Pershing. And the Greyhound now receiving massive amounts of fire there from the Clive B. Hellcat making his way, trying to help secure this region. Both Hellcats are. Does have two riflemen here. Intro 2 is sitting on up. Got this uh, Grenadier here as well. This Vermont player has enough munitions for a B1 rocket. And obviously, did he just use the entire squad to capture the Pack 38? First has received some his third rifle squad and turned advanced forward. Pershing seemed quite a bit damaged. Now got Clive and Roger there. Let's take up Pack 38. Hellcat, the looks of Forks Down does shrug there. Seen a bit of damage there. Stick Bomb does connect. Only does damage. Pershing still only is seeing some balances of pens, but still has a bit of help to think around with. Brody trick right there. This Hellcat is severely wounded. Jokes now advanced forward trying to get some good hits there. The Hellcat does go down, but the Northern BP has been captured up, and now it's a double you. capture in favor of the Axis players. Hellcat's almost going down, pushing rolls a bounce. And the Hellcat does go down now. This Hellcat does have the a short and crit there. Pentrick's lining up the shot. It does take up the Hellcat finally. Expansive board. Interiors are getting currently suppressed. Right now, the holy pin. Down south, Hellcat in this region. Triple capture in favor of the Axis players, which is getting a little bit too close to the Allies. Five feet barrage raining on it. Rolls up the close range barrage. Got multiple strokes in this region. Pershing has seen quite a bit of damage. He's Allied War Machine. Does not have access to any more uh, allied war machines, but needs more uh, manpower. Let's take out another stroke there. Good pentrick shots there. Pershing does go down. Rifle squad advance the forward. Good pass from catching the safety gun gets some good fire support there. Hellcat. Carcass does sustain the damage share. Let's take out that carcass now. 
And now we do got the secret bomb connected onto this Hellcat. I hope that's good. Okay, this is gonna mean it's from the short crit there. Pack, uh, M182 gun has been recruited. Now we got a firestorm raining on in. Does he got the Hellcat right there? Ain't gonna destroy right there on the Greyhound. And now I've got another collider in the garage running on in. Trying to stop his forces. May take out one of these Stugs. Let's get the repair engineers. And it looks like he does get the kill there with the Hellcat. May gonna destroy kill there on this Hellcat. Alright, this boss is trying to decapture these points. Stugs. Of course, trying to get repaired on up. Grandiers gains some shots there, does not take up a Greyhound just this moment. He has to get the kill there on the Greyhound now. We do now have the Rifle Squad trying to overrun this MG42. MG42 will get the crew. Got a Grey, uh, Grandier in this background. Got this Rifle Squad now, Vance 4 trying to get some good damage on in. And now the riflemen are starting to get wiped on out. He's trying to go with snipers. This is another riflemen. This squad may escape on out of there. Right here's the squad. We've seen a bit of fire. So the VP is captured by the access players. But now the rifle squad is trying to pursue the MP40 bolts. I think they're just trying to eye the cap the captain this VP. And now Grenadier's eyeing to capture the central VP. VP. We got these two shows in the region. One of them has a damage and crit. And up north, the rifle I want to say squads, but there is not a lot of men there. That US player is just used, just used off map combat group. I think he just got two AT guns and more riflemen. Maybe he just got two riflemen and two AT guns. The AT guns actually going to be very useful, honestly. And the riflemen are wouldn't hurt as well. They're honestly, the riflemen squad is actually a pretty good helping to dive uh, dog pile of one of these VPs. Let's get a uh, gunner killed right there. No damage to crit there. This riflemen squad does fall back. 30 cal has been recruited. We're down to 50 points. Riflemen just trying to uh, get on this point. They're perhaps trying to get us some sticky bombs here. The other US player has no manpower remaining, just putting the Pershing. He got in the central VP. This access player does have enough mun ma munitions for a V1 rocket strike. Maybe a good idea just to throw in a V1 rocket strike if he can't keep an air here. Because neither player has enough uh, VP to really forfeit anymore. Off my power stream raining on in. Rifle squad to fall back. Does use propaganda war there, not the V1. Gunner killed right there. Got multiple AT guns firing away. Pershing does get some good hits there on the Grenadiers. And not a lot of manpower or munitions remaining. This point is now secure enough for the rifle to capture the point. Pershing fans at port. Trying to go for this wounded uh Stug. Ain't got the short crit there. I stopped the short there. Rifle squads do capture the central VP, and that will be a capture against the X-Squares. They did not have a lot of time to decapture point, and I don't think they can decapture either of these points in time. If you look at the mini-map, these are closer squads, quite a bit there, but 8 tickets remain, I don't think that's enough time. Those are just charging for trying to clear out a window there. Northern point has been decaptured by the U.S. players. This double capture in favor of the Allies, and that's going to seal the deal. They're losing territory. And that is the end of the replay. This is Anne Great saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.